So when we're building like a molecule like this, so I guess this is just what I found like Evan was building over there. So it's just not any any sort of molecule that we came up with him on the piece of paper. He was just building stuff. But anyways, this this molecule is called a diol. Um, let's let's so let's look at the ball and stick. Uh, version of it, and let's try to draw its Lewis structure. We should all be able to, okay? So, when we're drawing Lewis structures, or when we're looking at ball and stick models, usually what you'll see is that carbon atoms are black, okay, and the red atoms are oxygen, okay? Um, in this case, the yellow atoms are hydrogen, usually they're white, okay, but whatever. Usually yellow is sulfur. But you can tell it's hydrogen because it only makes the one bond. Right? But anyway, so if we look at it, we should be able to draw this molecule. So draw C, C, like that. And then we've got, so if we're looking at it in this sort of configuration there, as if it's standing like that, we've got this atom, this hydrogen atom, this oxygen atom, this carbon atom, this carbon atom, this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom all in the same plane. Does everybody see that? So we should, if we're going to draw it, we're going to draw it like that, okay? So the two carbon atoms up is the oxygen atom there. Over here is the other oxygen atom right there. Does everybody see how we're doing that? Here, hydrogen atom. Here, hydrogen atom, right? This hydrogen atom is coming towards us right here. Does everybody see that? So it's this one. Okay. So let's draw those two hydrogen atoms. Remember, the wedge is how we show something coming towards us, right? The wedge is how we show something coming towards us, right there. Okay. What about these two hydrogens here that are kind of hard for you to see, right? But because they're going back. And how do we do those? Those are the hash lines, right? So that's the molecule that Evan just built, right? But we're missing the lone pairs on the oxygen, remember? Lone, you've got to remember your lone pairs. If you can't remember your lone pairs, um, you could always do that fish hook thing that you um, build the molecule one atom by one atom, but it takes a long time. The way I would like you to think about it is to think that piece looks a lot like water, right? And what's happened is we've replaced that hydrogen with all of this stuff over here, okay? So, since that looks a lot like water, you should expect that that oxygen's got those two lone pairs on it, okay? So think about it that way. Another way you can think of it is if oxygen is uncharged, then it's got two bonds and two lone pairs, okay? Um, Another thing we could talk about is the molecular geometry around these atoms, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, if we're talking about molecular geometry, okay, we're talking about what is the geometry around the, and I've been saying this, the central atom, okay? Well, in this case, what is the central atom? There's actually a bunch of them. In fact, there's four central atoms, okay? So, what you can do is say, what's the geometry around this atom? What's the geometry around this atom, this atom, and this atom? Okay? By geometry, I'm talking about, we could talk about the bond angle. Okay? So hopefully you guys could figure out, if I asked you, what is the bond angle there? What would it be? 104. 104 and a half, yeah, 104.5. And how'd you figure that out? It's greater than 90. Well, definitely that. But it looks like water, right? That's the bond angle of water, is 104.5. The other thing you want to think of is if you've got something that's got two lone pairs, or two bonds and two lone pairs, it's going to be about 104.5, okay? What about here? What's the bond angle here? What is it? 109 and a half, yeah. And how'd you do that one? Because it looks a lot like methane, right? It looks like methane, except we've taken those two hydrogens and put an OH group there instead, and this whole thing instead, okay? What about 
the bond angle here? 104.5. So, so you see how you're getting this, right? So it's all these patterns that you're looking for. So 104.5. Okay, um, what are some of the other things that asks you? So it says molecular geometry. It also says electron pair shape. Okay, that means what is the geometry of the electrons? Okay, so just like around the carbon, right, there's four pairs of electrons around this carbon. Do you guys see that? Four pairs of electrons. Just like there's four pairs of electrons around this oxygen, right? Does everybody see that? So, if you've got four pairs, your electron geometry is always tetrahedral because they still want to be as far apart from each other as possible, okay? So the electrons are tetrahedral. So, if we wanted to draw water just to emphasize this, right? So water looks like, let's draw the hydrogens like if, as if, I think I have water built somewhere from here. Okay. So, let's pretend we're looking at water like this, right? So that's how we've drawn it, right there. But remember, electrons, when they're paired up, they hate other electron pairs. So they want to be as far away from each other as possible. So we can think of the electron pairs as being in the plane there, if you will, if this is out of the plane, OK? So just like this is front and back, when we look at methane, and of course it already broke apart methane, but whatever, here, let's build a big methane. Okay? So if we look, like, look at methane, right, it looks similar to water, except it doesn't have those uh, two CH bonds, right? Okay? So water has lone pairs instead. So let's draw methane. Like that, right? So the electron geometry, right, is the same in both. <coughs> is everybody okay with that? The electron geometry is the same. And we ask, what's the electronic geometry? Well, this one's clearly tetrahedral. So since this one's very similar to that, it's tetrahedral as well. Okay? So they're both tetrahedral. And then, of course, the molecular geometry is what you already know, right? Molecular geometry is just showing the geometry of the molecule itself, right? So if you imagine yourself as being a little person and not being able to see those electrons, right? You can only see those three atoms, right? So the molecular geometry is going to be what for this one? Big, right? Very good. And then this one is going to be tetrahedral. Yeah. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Make sense? Make sense?